Hello guys, welcome once again to Tess Rogers Cooking. For today, we'll be cooking salmon teriyaki. Our ingredients, salmon, onions and chopped ginger, sugar, black ground pepper and salt. We have garlic. We're also going to use sake, mirin, soy sauce, and of course, cooking oil. So that's all our ingredients for our salmon teriyaki. In just a short while, we're going to start cooking. So first, let's cut our salmon into slices. So look at that guys, napaka fresh ng ating salmon. It's so fresh. So let's start making our marinating sauce. First, let's put our chopped ginger. Then add in our garlic, around three tablespoonful of garlic. Let's put our teaspoon of salt and black ground pepper. Let's add in around 5 tablespoonful of soy sauce or you can also use uh, oyster sauce if you want. And then let's add in 2 tablespoonful of mirin. Let's also add in around the uh, 5 stay Five tablespoonful of sake or Japanese white wine, and then followed by our brown sugar. Or you can also use white sugar. So let's just mix them all together. So in a while, we are ready to put our salmon. For the meantime, let's mix our marinating sauce firmly. So let's put our salmon. And then at least marinate them. At least, my, at least 30 minutes. So set aside. Let's just put them inside the ref for at least 30 minutes. To, in order for our salmon to absorb all our marinating ingredients. So for sure, it will come up into a delicious salmon teriyaki. So let's cover them with our cling wrap and ready to be placed inside the wrap for at least 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, let us dredge our salmon into our all-purpose flour. So let's dredge our salmon one by one into our all-purpose flour. So 
Dredging our salmon will give a crispy a crispy effect on our salmon. So in a while we'll be starting frying our salmon. By the way, the leftover sauce will be used as our teriyaki sauce later on. So but first we're going to start in a while frying our salmon. So let's put some oil on a pan. So let's start putting our dread salmon into our heated frying pan. So by the way, it's advisable that you use a non-stick pan. So let's fry our salmon. At this point, we can start flipping our salmon into other side. So in just a while, it's done. So here are our salmon. It's done. So let's start putting our leftover marinating sauce into our pan. This will serve as our teriyaki sauce for our salmon teriyaki. So guys, let us just uh, cook for a few minutes our teriyaki sauce. Let's just saute them for a few minutes. So guys, our teriyaki salmon sauce is done. Let us now for our teriyaki sauce into our salmon. So guys, this is a very delicious salmon teriyaki. So let's put all our sauce onto our salmon. Then later on, we will top them with sesame seeds. So let's start putting our sesame seeds on top of our salmon teriyaki. It looks so delicious guys and of course this will be proven by our taste test portion for a while. So look at this guys, it's so enticing to the eyes. 
So in just a short while, we're going to taste our salmon teriyaki. So it's guys. So guys, so heavenly. It's so delicious. Look at that. Look at our salmon teriyaki. It's so very delicious. Then of course, along the salmon teriyaki side, I put some uh, fried banana. Banana and of course, uh, this is our Philippine saba. Our saba banana here in the Philippines. And of course, some... Uh, I also fry some carrots on the side so you can uh, you can escape your rice and substitute your fried banana and carrots which are all very healthy so guys my dinner is complete now it's so delicious so what are you waiting for guys? So try our salmon teriyaki. So just follow the steps that I've shown you and for sure your family will have a nice dinner with you with this salmon teriyaki. So guys, I hope you do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Try this recipe. It fits for all kinds of occasions. I hope you enjoyed. See you on my next vlog. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.